<laughs> Here's a yo-yo I made up about uh, 20 years ago based on something I was shown. I had a lot of fun. I made about 100 of these, you know. It's got ball bearings in it. It's got two heavy ball bearings here, which, which move, and these ones which are fixed. It does something extraordinary. Let me just get it to perform for you. It means I've got to turn this like this, about there, like that. Stand back a bit. And we'll see if I can get it to... It should be an ordinary yo-yo. Yep, it's an ordinary yo-yo. It doesn't come... It's not so good as all that. It originally instantly had sweets in it. Lots of sweets here, lots of sweets here. I kicked out all the sweets and faced it with the ball bearing, so it performs. Now, here's the interesting thing. If I do a little twiddle here, I'll show you in a minute what's happening on the inside. Now when I do it, I'm just doing the same action, and what happens? It goes, bump, and it refuses to come climb up the string again. What's going on there? Something very interesting. Just to emphasize it and make it a bit clearer, I had another go at making a version, but using what they call a Diablo toy. It's one of those things which normally, they're very popular in toy shops, you'll find them. Two sticks with a string, you do an action like this, and you throw it in the air, and this thing spins around very, very fast, and lands in the string, and so on, and so on, and so on. What I've done is I've butchered it, as you can see, I've cut it. It was originally a circle, and cut it there. And these ugly things on the corners are heavy nuts, heavy bits of metal. That's the situation we've got. Metal here, metal here, weights, weights and weights. And if we put it like this situation, where it's formed a cross, it performs reasonably well as a yo-yo. Reasonably well. Not, not a very good one, but it's okay. Climbed up the string again. I'll do it one more time. So that's what I would call a go-yo, a go-go yo-yo. When I turn the pieces around that way, so they're now in line, something quite extraordinary happens. I was expecting it to misbehave, but not quite so violently. This thing absolutely does not want to know. Here you go. Isn't that extraordinary? So let's try it once more with both ways. Turn it this way like this, and it will roughly perform as a yo-yo. I notice I've got a double string there, so if I was a good at yo-yoing, I could do a stunt and make it sleep down there, but I don't mind that. So that way it should yo-yo reasonably well. Yes, it does. It comes up most of the way. Turn it like that. And now they're in line. And it just does not want to know. Bizarre. What's going on there? It's a little known law of physics that it wants to find the way of spinning so that it forms, if you had anything spinning in the air, it will try and align itself to form the minimum amount of energy, the most, at least amount of inertia. And when the pieces are in line like this, it's reasonably happy to perform and turn like a yo-yo. If you turn like this, the two weights are close, too close together, and now you've got another axis, which my finger is going through there, and it prefers to actually turn around like that if it can. But how can it do that when there's no, there's no little central spindle for it to pick up on? That's what's happening. I'll show it again on the... Original yo-yo I showed, the interior of this looks like this inside. You've got ball bearing, quite heavy ones, ball bearing, ball bearing. And in this position, when it's crossing over like that, this is fixed and this is the one that swivels. That's happy to turn around like a yo-yo should, that direction, and there's a proper little wheel to pick it up with. When you turn it like that, nature says, no good, it's got to turn well, do it that way, this way like this, along this axis here, and the effect is a stunning one. You can show it even more dramatically with a rod, which unfortunately would have to be done in outer space. But if I if I put this in the air and let go of it, it drops. But if I was in in space, a microgravity would just sit in the air. If I rolled it between my fingers like that and let go of it in space, not here, it won't drop. It'll just go on spinning in the air. But if I turn it this way like that, slow movements, and then let go of it, instantly it will stop turning, apparently become frozen. But actually what it's now doing is turning around like that at very high speed along the axial length. That's what's happening with this yo-yo. It's a little known law about conservation of energy, I suppose, because when you turn it like this, it'll go quite slowly, but when it, the axis is to that direction, it'll go very fast to conserve the amount of energy being performed. And I think it's most dramatically shown in the form of this go-go and yo-no-go yo-yo. And I just love the idea of the drama that it absolutely does not like spinning when the weights are 
in the wrong axis. That does not like spinning out of the yo-yo at all. Boom, 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 boom. No-go yo-yo. Huh. I forgot making one. 